All right, howdy boyos, and welcome back to Red Orchestra 2. Um, this video is special for a couple of reasons. Uh, a, this is the first video on my channel with the G41 Marksman Rifle. Um, you know, I've made multiple videos with the G41, but I've never made one with the Marksman Rifle version, which I unlocked a, a well, good couple of weeks ago. I just never got around to playing with them, because obviously the Marksman class is a very limited class. It only has one or two slots per uh, team, and it's one of the more popular classes for people to play. Also, I cannot jump upstairs. Um, now that was, it was hard for me to pick this class for that reason, because it was so popular, and even though I have a very good computer, it was just very, very hard for me to actually get to pick one of these, because they would, you know, get picked by other people so quickly. And in that, uh, another thing actually comes to mind, oh, that guy's got fucking destroyed, and it is that I recently, um, and by recently I mean literally today, earlier today, fuck, uninstalled RO2, and reinstalled it on a SSD. Which means that I suck dick at shooting, uh, but that's a whole different thing. Uh, let's get around hang it over here. Can I jump to this? Yes. Um, and that means that uh, I will have much faster loading times, which actually allows me now to pick up these more exotic classes, I would like to call them, like uh, machine gunners, and uh, flamethrowers, and shotgunners, and snipers. And uh, you can definitely expect me to play a lot more RO2 now. I have finally managed to get myself over the fact that I had to uninstall it. it. Took me five minutes to reinstall it. Now I have RO2 on a SSD. And, uh, and then lot one more thing, which I don't know if you notice in the video or if you notice this on YouTube, and I notice it in game for sure, is that I uncapped my FPS. I RO2 for some reason is capped at 50 FPS, or sorry, 62 FPS on uh, on your PC, and I have no clue why, but I will link a... Oh, I will link a Steam guide on how to unlock the frames to whatever you want. So mine is set obviously to 165, because of my, my screen runs. But, you know, if you have a 120 FPS, or a 140 FPS, or a 100 FPS, that's even a thing, you can obviously set your thing to, you know, the corresponding screen refresh rate that you have. For me, that's 165, and honestly, I can definitely notice it. And uh, it definitely means that my PC or my game runs a lot smoother, which is very, very enjoyable. Now, I suck at sniping. Oh, I managed to get that kill. So the German, the G41 marksman uh, rifle, as you can see here, uh, here has, sadly enough, only a 1.5 times scope. I think it's the ZF-41, um, Ziel Farrer, is that what that is, I think? It's a, it's a scope, but it's only 1.5 times the magnification scope. It's only 1.5 times the magnification of, a, you know, it's still good, it's still a scope. It's better than nothing, but as you can see, it's pretty hard to see something. Uh, and I think it's the same scope you get on the MKB-42 at level 50, which I'm still grinding for. The Russians, however, on their marksman scope, get a 4 times on the SVT-40, which is a pretty big difference. And they get a 6 times at level 25 with the SVT. Now, the Germans get a 4 times on their G-41 at level 25, so I think it's okay. It's just something that I always uh, kind of forget. Um, then again, there's also the issue that the Germans have to feed two clips of Car 98 ammo into their gun. And as you can see, I have nine extra clips. Whereas if you were playing with the Russians, you would have nine extra 10 round mags. So basically, I think I've already said this a billion times, but the, the Russians have literally double the ammunition when it, in their semi-automatic rifles, or at least on their bodies. So I can only carry, like, let's say, um, I don't know, there's 10 in, a, 10 in a gun plus 45 on me, so I can carry 55, and a Russian soldier can carry basically over 100, which is a pretty big difference, and it just means that you have to go to the ammo box more often as a German. So far, I have to say, I have not really... I've been playing around with the SVT scoped a little bit. I haven't really touched the ZF scope yet, the neither... You know, I, have, I don't have the upgrade on the MKB yet, although I'm really close. Um, and I, you know, don't have the... I think it's level 50, if I check this really quickly. G41 
41. It might actually give you. Uh, oh, I don't know. I thought it gave you. Uh, a, I thought, thought it gave you a 1.5 times zoom. I guess it doesn't. Um, so yeah, I've never really figured, fucked around with these scopes other than like on picked up weapons or some like one of my friends dropped his like scope, his, G, his G41 scope. So yeah, I haven't really fucked around with it. I must say so far, I mean, I got those seven kills mainly because you can see them running in from out of the scope because the scope isn't like super far super far zoomed in you can see them running into your into your view from outside the scope and then you just pre-aim where you think they're gonna run and you just click off not not a bad scope i definitely uh definitely enjoy this one i wouldn't want it on a big map with you know lots of visibility and uh, a lot of open terrain because then it's going to be very hard to actually do good with this thing i think or at least do as good as in a more CQB environment where there's a guy really close here in front of me somewhere where I'm gonna press six so I can maybe see him a little bit better. So I'm using, I'm just pre Oof. Dickhead. That was bad. He was, uh, he knew someone was in there, but we can just frag him out. Oof, that was a fucking spray. If you want to do that yourself, by the way, switch between the sniper scope and the regular scope. You can do that on pretty much every gun that has a scope. I think you can do it on every gun. You just have to press the 6 button, and you can switch between iron sights and... Oh, hello. Are you fucking kidding me? You can switch between iron sights and the actual zoom in scope, uh, which is pretty useful for, you know, acquiring targets like uh, I'm doing this to get more... Uh, FOV. Well, not so much FOV, but because FOV is the same, but the fact that this big scope's in a way, and now if you press 6, you can actually see what the fuck's going on. You can try and get a kill or two off while... I think I actually might have gotten a kill. Yeah. And now I have to go back to 6 because it's fucking big as fuck and I can barely see anything. Go back to 6. Don't know if I killed that guy or not. Nope, I did. Go back to reloading. Is that guy behind me? No, we're good. I don't know how this guy got right in front of me and didn't fucking realize looking to the fucking window. Okay, I got shot by a DP. Let's just, uh... I think I, I that one guy, I did down him. Or I did make him bleed. So he's probably gonna die from, uh... What loss soon. There you go. Inside this building, for example, having the ability to use that, like, six button. Very, very powerful. I do have a P38 here as well, which I might have to use here soon. I should switch to the C96 though, because I want to get it to be a semi-automatic. I want to be. I want to have the C96 like full auto version, which I think is level 50. But you get a stock and it's full auto, and that's fucking insane. Let's get this to my left, right. Well, mate, did I kill at least one of those guys? I killed Balaran, he was running by, I don't know if I killed anyone else, but I didn't, oh well. I did my job, I got another 10 kills in that position. I mean, number one, well, I wasn't one on the team for about 5 seconds there. Um, but, the fact that you can have, you have this super, not big magnification scope, it's still 1.5 times. Basically, I would almost call it a modern red dot or hollow. I know that those aren't magnification, they're just one time zoom, there's no zoom in there, it's just like your same view as in higher in sight. But it allows for a much easier kill. Iron sights are not bad, don't get me wrong. Iron sights on a G41, or in any rifle for that case, or not matter, aren't bad. But what if you could, like I have here in this case, you have a 1.5, so even a little bit of a zoom. But it just allows for much easier target acquisition. I just Iron sights are a bit hard to see through. A more easily look throughable sight makes for a much easier kill. Um, at least I feel like that's the case. Now I'm gonna try and run into this building. We're gonna get horribly fucked up by some machine guns. Drop this guy some ammo. Get into the building on the window side so we don't get fucked up in the street. And uh, I'm sure we're gonna get we're gonna eat a tank shell or two in this building in less than five seconds. I'm gonna get the third floor. No, we're going to eat a fucking tank shell in our face. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no! I checked the stairs, there was no one there, I pressed R, then we got fucking destroyed. Damn, that sucks. Damn it. Alright. 
definitely some fucking guys here. I cannot wait to have the MKB with the with the scope on it. I mean, I'm sure that it's not going to be as great as I want it to be, but at the same time, I have this belief in life. Okay, we cannot do it with the. Okay, I just believe in life where I really want the MKB to be the best gun in this game. I don't know if it is or it isn't, but I want it to be. So I'm really hoping that it the scope makes it kind of like this, which is really awesome. Like I said, you have the the long the longer zoom and a little bit more visibility. And then if you don't want that, you can just switch back to your iron sights for more close range visibility and more easier target acquisition between targets. And you can always press six to go back again. So there was a guy like right there. Grenades being thrown into this part of the compound. I think I hit him. Or didn't, didn't I? Oh, the artillery just destroyed lots of people there. Nice. Shit. I should have looked. I was just very focused on at one point. Okay, that was a bad life. Those are two bad lives. Well, that other life, I could at least get a kill with my pistol, which is pretty good. But, alright, come on. Could hold them back for four. Ooh, artillery on this right side. So far, though, my verdict on the G41 scoped, it's not bad. Oh, I didn't know that artillery was that close. Oh, come on. It did land like super far away from me initially. I was like, oh, I can run into this building. Man, fuck. You know what? I'll spawn on the other side. Actually, I don't want to spawn. No, I'm going to spawn on the other side. I'll spawn on the other side. Actually, it's actually no, there. But we can put a mark. This is already a higher level. And I do get, let's see, uh, fucking weapon progress. Mauser. You get a 20 round magazine instead of a 10 round magazine, I think, and level, level 50, which I'll never reach. But level 50, you get a, uh, like, the full auto version of it with the stock and everything, and that's just fucking brilliant. Yeah, I think there's only some 10 rounds. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So you get double the ammo, which is actually pretty damn good. And another thing is that this thing is only downside of this thing. You cannot reload it in the middle of the cliff, I think. Hang on. Yeah, I'm pressing R right now, so you cannot reload in the middle. But you do get an extra two rounds. I think the Walter only has eight rounds, and the 96 has has ten. And the fact that you can get a 20 round pistol is pretty insane. Now imagine a 20 round automatic pistol. I mean, there's no accuracy to be had on that. But the fact that you can pull it out, basically, well, that sounds really stupid. I probably shouldn't say it that way. The fact that you can pull out a 20 round automatic pistol, pretty damn strong. Pretty good kill there too. Um, yeah, no, I'm super excited to grab, uh, that, grab that and unlock that at some point. Hopefully ever. I don't know if I ever will. Um, and I'm sure people are like, oh no, just go grind on a bot server. No, that's really fucking boring to me. I don't want to do that. That's just, that's kind of cheating to me, you know what I mean? Ah shit, there's a lot of Russians running over here. Almost shot that guy in the fucking face. Starting to suppress that a little bit. We go for a reload. It does look really cool on this gun, I have to say. The Germans were uh, very advanced in their in their military thinking. Um, I think uh, this is a direct order from Hitler, if I'm not wrong. Uh, he wanted basically every German soldier to be outfitted with a G41 slash G43 and them to have at least a 1.5 times scope. He thought that most gun battles, I'm just stupid, most gun battles would be fought at longer range distances, not like five kilometers, but somewhere between like 200 and 500 meters, or sorry, 200 and 1,000 meters. And he figured, you know, give everyone a G43 so they're capable of hitting those targets at longer range, but they can follow up their shots pretty quickly. Um, and then it turned out that most battles were not fought in that way. Look at like every major city battle. And weapons like the MP40 and the Papush, uh, Thompson, and you know, in, in some very, in some uh, success, also the SG44 and its you know, previous prototypes, MKB42, MP43, MP44. Um, and uh, 
I don't know, Hitler was really against that. He wanted his men to be marksmen. He wanted his men to basically, he wanted everyone to be marksmen with a scope. There's a fucking T-34 on the left side. So they could, you know, do long range accurate shooting. And everyone's like, you're fucking retarded. That doesn't make sense. And I think I've already had this discussion with myself before, where now, if you look at the modern military idea, every, let's say like in the average, you know, American military unit, doesn't everyone have at least a one times, if not so for clearer sight, but at least like don't people have ACOGs or two times scopes or three times scopes or modifiers or sorry, um, not modifiers, magnifiers. Um, I think the military tactics really went from, you know, being this CQB thing. Oh shit, that's definitely a fucking enemy or that was a friendly. We might have shot me in the back, even though I think that, that dead body, if it's a dead body or not, was a Russian. Yeah, no, no, nowadays modern, modern military seems to rely more on long range scopes. Look at, like, you know, having an M4 with an ACOG isn't a weird thing. Having an, having an AK with a PSO scope isn't a super weird thing. That was a headshot, I think. No, yep, it was. And that's, uh, I don't know, it's interesting that Hitler slashed the German military was kind of ahead of its time by about 60 years. Oh, that's a T-34. That's not good. What the fuck? Um, it's interesting that they were so far ahead of their time and people thought they were... People thought Hitler was dumb. And Hitler was stupid. Um, but now, like, you know, nowadays I think he probably would have had a good point considering most people, you know, most armies want their soldiers to be outfitted with longer range scopes. I'm not talking about eight times scopes or even six times scopes like the SVT in this game came out from the marksman class. But, you know, a two or three or four times is definitely... What the hell this tank time maybe blew up, I guess, on, like, fire? Definitely not a bad idea, but, uh, yeah, back in 1945, or 44, 43, 42, 41, I should have just said World War II, back in World War II, uh, it wasn't really a big necessity, and, um, or maybe it wasn't a big necessity because most of the combat was still taking place at, you know, shorter range, but nowadays, you know, Putin or, uh, Kim Jong-il, or sorry, Kim Jong-un, not Kim Jong-il, he's dead, Kim Jong-un, or whoever, can press a button, Putin can do it too, or sorry, uh, uh, Trump can do it too, they can press a button, and a country or a continent will be just like vanished off the map. And I think that works with everything with missiles like nukes, but also works with, you know, uh, long range weaponry, rockets. So much stuff has happened in the last 20 to 30 years um, that, you know, allowed allows armed forces of the world to hit their enemies a lot further away than before. I mean, the V1 and the V2 were revolutionary for their time because it meant that the Germans could bomb London and other British cities without having to actually sacrifice a single man to go all the way to London, to fly over the town or city of London, or fly over Manchester, fly over, name any sort of town city in England, and perhaps lose men who would die because their bomber got shot down. They could directly impact the British civilians or British factories or whatever without actually having to send people there. And I think that's, you know, in the last 20 or 30 years with missiles and smart missiles and, oh, I got that kill actually. And all that stuff being developed in a more, I guess, more like high, higher technology standard and, you know, oh yeah, like this, this JDAM can be dropped from 1500 feet, or, or uh, sorry, 10,000 meter high, and it will hit the ground with maybe half a meter of dispersion because a laser is targeting it from a plane that's not being, not able to be hit by any sort of anti-aircraft fire, maybe like a missile, like a SAM rocket, but no, like, any conventional flak or, you know, gun-based anti-air can reach up there because it's, you know, flying so high. Stuff like that. Stuff like, you know, you cannot touch, or sorry, the enemies cannot touch you, but you can definitely touch your enemies. And, I don't know, I think that's a very interesting... Come on, oh, that was a kill. Okay, it took me a couple shots, but I killed him. And I think that's very interesting to see how, like, that all came to work and how, you know, like I said, back in 1940, uh, that was all far away. I mean, they, tried, they did it with the V2 and the V1 and they tried it. And, um, you know, they tried it with stuff like, you know, giving everyone 
giving everyone a, uh, or trying to give everyone a scope, or trying to give as many as people as possible a scope, or having, you know, dedicated marksman teams. They were just ahead of their time. And, I mean, it's interesting to see how they basically were already thinking like a modern military did. Jets? Of course, you know, other nations had jets. I mean, the British had the Glossar Meteor. Um, but they were never used in the way that the ME-262 was used, or even the ME-163, or other planes that were a one-off takeoff thing that were not even meant to land. They were basically a one-way thing. Um, and it's very interesting to see that the more Germany was basically getting pushed into a corner by all the allies combined, the more they were trying to drastically futurize their their armed forces whether it be the air force or the ground forces or i don't know i i, I think that's uh i think it's a very interesting topic of conversation now there is oh, fuck we're in minus one bug so we gotta kill one two there's two guys left we gotta wait for the four minute timer to run out which is kind of a shame um, but at least i didn't do too bad um i went from zero to 17 kills and two lives i then only got six kills in the entire rest of the game, but um, at least I, I managed to show what I think I wanted to show, which was the close quarters power of a short... Well, I guess it's not a short range weapon. Of this this gun that's basically a, uh, a, uh, a, a gun that has only 1.5 times scope. And like I said, in this little window, I'm actually, I'll run to it right now. This little window right here which netted me 10 kills because, I mean, this is what? Maybe, I don't know, 100 meters? If that, to the train car, maybe 90? Oh, that's fucking artillery. 90 to 100 meters to the train car. Being able to switch between these two scopes and getting these just a little bit more accurate shots. Like, it's very hard to see if there's someone, let's say, hiding right between these two train cards or over there. So boom, switch to your 1.5 times and you can actually see something. Um, I don't know, it, it's, it's definitely something worth thinking about. Uh, there's just our, com our commanders left, maybe like one more guy. Uh... The thing is, like I said, it's the minus one bug, which isn't really helping. Can this guy stop shooting me? I guess he's just gonna be. He's gonna be like F6, I don't believe that. We have recon. Where is this guy? Where is why is recon not fighting this guy? There should be like one red exclamation mark. Oh, I, my HUD's glitched at the top. Oh, he's right there. He's on I five. gonna let him surrender? I don't think so. Oh, well, I was going to kill him with a grenade, but then the other guy already killed him. So, I'm not... Welcome to Divided Certified Cunt. That's a, that's a great chat. Well, I'm not gonna wait around for two minutes. I think I did pretty damn good, besides that final kind of stupid, uh, well, not team kill, but um, this, the final, like, kill. I tried to kill him with my grenade. Managed to be number four. I wouldn't have been any better because I'm still 24 points away, or 14 points away from uh, number three. But that's not a bad game. Really had fun playing with this gun, and I can definitely see myself trying to grab the SVT with the scope on it more often. Because I want to try and get to use that one as well. And of course, trying to use this thing because, I mean, I got, it's basically a modern rifle in 19, what is this, 42 in this game? I think it takes place. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope If you like this video, drop a like, and we'll love to see you in the next one. Cheers.